Alright guys, welcome back to more Grand Theft Auto 5. Holy shit. Supposed to be going to Trevor. Uh, I'm not really 100% sure how far away that's going to be from here. Because if he's all the way back out in the boondocks, then I don't know, man. Let's just see where he's at. Actually, you know what? Never mind then. I thought he was way out in the distance or whatever, but I guess not. Oh yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. Look at that car I just passed. Holy shit. I really think that this game, we, we have 18 missions left. Or 18 main missions left, excuse me. Not really talking about side missions at this point. Uh, really, the side missions in this game are like the, uh, the the Freaks missions. You know, like where you went. I I don't know which part it was. I was using Trevor. And I, was, I, I think it was before I could figure out what the hell I was supposed to do. And I remember doing like the Strangers and Freaks. Like a few of those. I'm not really sure, but they were... I don't know, like, if I'll go back and actually do more of those. Uh, but we'll just have to see. I'm pretty sure there's some that really are going to stand out. But for now, the main missions in this game? Are you kidding? Some of the best... Some of the best gaming I've had all year. Just by... Oh, man, look at that ramp. Oh, I want to try it so bad. No. Now, wait. Are you supposed to lay on the other ramp? I can try it. What the fuck? Look at my rims. I just... Guys, I have to do this. I don't want to do this. I mean, yeah, dude, fuck that. I don't want to do it because I want to hurry up and get to the mission. But you know what? I want to do a stunt jump. Brad wants to do a stunt jump. You know what? I need a lot more speed than that. We're not. That's, that's not going to cut it. Oh, look at this old woman. Watch out, bitch. All right, guys, we're about to dick around. This is going to be... If I can get the speed I had coming off this... this was a nice car. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bob Seeger, got you on the radio. No, no. Here we go. This is all you need right here, baby. Yeah, baby. Look at the rims. Look at those rims. Oh, ramp to ramp. Is it going to happen? Oh no! No, Jesus! No! <laughs> Why? I missed it! Damn it, man! Ah, I didn't make it. You gotta land ramp to ramp, Brad. You have to. Alright, sync test. Down, down, up, up. Alright, well, that didn't work, but whatever. You know what? It actually worked out kind of cool because I'm down here on the street level. It's if I jump on those ramps, I would have had to go down anyway, so... Whatever, I failed it. I tried it. Win some, you lose some. I don't know. Oh, watch out. You know who I haven't seen in a while in this game? Jimmy. His son, you know? I know his son, like, moved out, but I was hoping he would make it... Oh, there's a strip club. I was hoping he would make another appearance. So we're supposed to meet Trevor at the strip club, but I'm not really sure. Look at this, like, wife beater that I'm wearing. There's no, there's no need for that. Wait, am I supposed to go inside and then go back around? Yeah, okay. I have to go in through the front door, which is all the way over here. Horny girls, that's funny. Someone was asking me to talk about my strip club experiences. Uh, I, I don't know if I feel comfortable doing that. Good to see you. We good? How are you supposed to get back over there? I guess hop it on stage unless it's going to give me like six stars. I don't know. Can I hop up there? No, you can't. Okay. Oh yeah, th thank you guys so much for the support. Uh, this series has been 
I gotta take a test. More than I could have ever hoped for on this hey. channel, so here we are. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. So I don't really think he partnered with him. More so as just killed him and put him in the refrigerator. Alright, drive to the bank. Let's do this. Come in. You there? Alright. We're on a strict schedule. There's a couple of armored cars on a dry run to the depository. Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 1530. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point. So we're going to his airfield in Blaine County and coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alpha Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Oh, is this good? How do you... Oh, okay, here he goes. And there we go. <laughs> hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? He's pissing in the... What is he doing? Why is the time being shown like that? Like clockwork, Mikey. Like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something we could help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. So, if we're busting out Brad eventually, how much do you guys want to bet that the game ends with Michael going to, like, prison or something? I don't really know. I would like to think it's going to have a good ending, but when has any Grand Theft Auto kind of ended on a good note? Well, really, you know what? The, all, all the main characters in every game have, have been fine, but the fact that this has got three all, like, intertwined or whatever, I, I don't know. 
I really don't know. Oh, we're back to this little area. Yeah, here we go. Every time I see a helicopter, I just want to hop in it and just fly the fuck away. You're the one here we who go. Keeps talking about the schedule last. Come on. 13:30. We're an hour down, two to go. Is he hopping in? Do yeah, they call there we it go. A wasting disease because you waste people's time. Move it. My observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is oh, going shit. to be picked Stay up away from that, Brad. That's be a military base. Get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good boy. Or whatever. Don't want him jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. Check out this field. I didn't even know this was over here. Is, there's a special this is team beautiful. Of cops on standby 24/7, waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now. Who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice. Once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Really using someone to actually get caught? You know that's not going to go over well with anybody. That's one thing I could never do is jail time. Probably one of my biggest fears. What about you guys? I mean, besides my fear of heights. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. Shit, I'm trying to. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Okay, they're right down there. I had them lost for a minute. Taking a left, okay. So what exactly? We're, we're trying to just find a little weakness in this little area, but... I don't know if I'm going to find one right here. What about here for the job? Where? Under one of the bridges. It's en route and we'll have plenty of cover. It's too open. There's a number of get-outs, and we'd be compromised if they were driven off the road into the river. We could recover the cars. With oh, the he's a blimp! Coming, we'd haul them up the side. A central station is monitoring the car's positions. If the GPS tracker reads it's down there in the channel, we'll have red flags all over the place. Fine! I want to go to the blimp right now, you know? I don't know if you can fly one. I'm sure you can. It's the first time I've seen one, actually. What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Let me try and stay a little bit closer. So I was gonna say, uh, as far as a blimp goes, man, that would be so badass to try. I would have I just wanna steal it, like hijack it like I did the plane on plane, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we're going in there. I've lost sight of them. Think they might be in the tunnel. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. Now, go around. Meet them at the other end. I was hoping they'd come through here. This tunnel would work for a switch. They go in, you come out. Oh. Okay. Okay, they'll be back out in the open now. It'll have to be a quick turnaround, but you can hijack the trucks in there. That would have to be very quick. Super quick. I'm picking up the cars. Right on time. Hey, 
It, uh, it looks like we're gonna need some IDs to get in the building this way. I'm assuming that's doable, Les. IDs I can handle. Onion 86 in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! What the fuck? I mean, I, I'm, I'm already here though, right? Construction entrance? What? They're doing construction down there, but it ain't a tunnel excavation. We'll keep looking. There's your big ass hole. Hover above it while I record what we need. Hover above so I can shoot down into it. Wait, where am I supposed to... I know I'm supposed to be on the side right here, but really? Hover near it? I'm trying! Looks pretty feasible. No steel supports. A little longer. Hold it. Lots of clear space. I think I've got everything I need to make some plans. Back to the airfield. Here we go, baby. I'm not swapping back over to Michael. I've been playing as him way too much lately. You know, I haven't played as is Frankie. Man, I miss some Franklin. We gotta swap back Why over to him. Neither of these ways into the bank work. The armored cars are the big hole in the ground. How are we gonna get the metal out? That's the 20% of $200 million question. If the armored cars are a viable option, we'll bring out the gold in them. Simple. You won't even have to fire a shot if everything goes to plan. When does everything go to plan? If it's ever going to, this is the time. Sounds hopeful to me. You got a backup plan? We can modify this chopper to carry the weight, but we need another one to match. Easy enough to get. If we're using it for the job, would you consider taking your name off the side? You think I'm taking down the Union Depository and anything other than a chopper with my name on it? Well, then you don't know me, bro. I thought you'd say that. You know, I'm just sitting here thinking about the scale of this game. I mean, did you guys ever think in a million years we'd be playing a game like this? Like, Grand Theft Auto 4, like, blew everyone's mind, but this? Are you kidding? Like, I, I'm just overwhelmed sometimes just by looking at it. So I'm like, there's... You got almost an exact replica of the Hollywood sign and everything else back there. Then all this, the cities and buildings and stores you can go into, the underwater... The mountains, the desert, it's just like, you could probably have this game a year, and you you might not find, you, you, you might still be finding stuff after a year. That's crazy to me. That is insane. Oh, shit. Tough landing there, Brad. Easy. Easy. We good? We got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together and work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. That's kind of mean. He was just trying to, uh, you know, talk about his old friend and everything. I'm actually just gonna fly over to the M. Any other time, I would swap back over. Parachutes now be automatically equipped when using helicopters or planes. That's kind of what I like to hear. So you mean to tell me I can bail out <clears throat> and, and jump and land on top of Michael's house? I think we're going to have to do that, guys. 